All right, welcome back, grade uh, 11s, 20-1s. This is your lesson on solving systems of equations graphically. So the focus for this lesson is we're going to focus on modeling the situation using a system of linear quadratic or quadratic quadratic equations. Uh, determining the solution is a big one. And then, so we're going to learn how to determine the solution graphically. Now we're going to interpret points of intersection on the number of solutions of a system of linear quadratic or quadratic or quadratic equations, and solving a problem that involves a system of linear quadratic or quadratic or quadratic equations. So we're just going to focus on the on the solving part mostly. And first, though, before we get started, we need to talk about what a system of equations is. So this is from last year. Types of so we have uh, three different types of systems of equations. Linear systems is what we learned last year is two or more first degree or linear equations that can be combined to model and solve a problem. So there's an example of that right there. You might want to make a sketch of that when you write your definition down. Feel free to pause this at any time, of course. So that's where we have two lines. We have one point of intersection that has both an x and a y coordinate. And then that is the solution to the system of equations. So that point, that coordinate right there where I am highlighting. Okay, that is the point where the graphs, that 3, 2, that would be the equation that satisfies both the blue equation and the purple equation. So there are two equations. That point 3, 2 is the one that satisfies both of them. So it makes both equations true. So a linear system had two or more first degree equations. Then a linear quadratic system, you might be able to guess, is a system that has at least one first degree or linear equation and at least one second degree or quadratic equation. So if we look at this one, it would look something like that, where we have one parabola and one linear function. Now this one can have a few options. You could have uh, two solutions like we have here. We have this solution and this solution. We could have no solutions like uh, ignore that. Uh, we'll do this right. We have no solutions. This graph here would have no solutions. And we could have one solution, and that's if it's just tangent to it, right? There just touches it at one point. One solution. So this so either with the with the linear functions we could have one solution. We could have no solutions. So if the other line was parallel, or we could have the same graph and then we'd have infinitely many. Well we have just we have one more option. We could have no solutions where the graphs don't intersect at all. We have one solution when they intersect once and two solutions where they intersect twice. And our third kind of equation would be a quadratic system. And just like a linear system where it's two or more first degree, a quadratic system has at least two second degree. Now that didn't work, we'll just move that down at least two second degree or quadratic equations. An example of that one, where did that go? There it is. So let's just extend the page. So you look at this one, and you can see that this one has two solutions. We have a quadratic, x squared plus 1, and negative x squared plus x plus 4. So there are two solutions to this one. You could have a quadratic where you have one solution. I'll just try this one. So this would be one where you have no solutions, and you could have a quadratic where we have one solution like that, where they just touch. So it's good to recognize uh, how many solutions you can have. Uh, it's not the be-all, end-all. So basically, if you're graphing, you're looking for these intersection points. And you can always tell how many solutions there are going to be based on how many intersection points there are. So uh, just to review this, oh, just to review this, um, so to solve it graphically, I solved this algebraically. We'll look at that to uh, the next lesson. But to solve it graphically, what we need to do is we need to be able to take these equations, y equals 3x minus 5. That's our first degree equation. That's our linear one. And we have this other one, 4x plus 2y plus 3 equals 0. So this was our linear system. Two linear equations, both first degree. That x only has an exponent of 1. 
So what we're going to do here is we are going to take this and we are going to rearrange this equation. This equation right here needs to be arranged so that it is in the y equals form because our graphing calculator only has the ability to graph y equals equations. So we have to have that y equals. So we'll just do this. Uh, to rearrange this one, it'll be, so I could go this way. I could go 4x. Pardon me, this wasn't supposed to. Uh, we'll do this, actually. Delete that. So our first equation will be 4x. And I'm just going to take plus 3, and I'm going to subtract 2y on both sides. All right, so I do that. I re divide both of them by 2y, or I subtract 2y on both sides. And you can see the difference here. Then, after that, I can't have y by, or I can't have negative 2y, so I'm going to have to divide everything by negative 2. And so 4x divided by negative 2 is negative 2x. 3 divided by negative 2 is just 3 halves. And then it's just y. So there's my second equation right there. Then to solve it graphically, all I do is I take my calculator, in y1, I'm going to type 3x minus 5. In y2, I'm going to put negative 2x minus 3 halves. Notice the minus, not negative. And then I'm going to hit trace. I'm going to hit graph, make sure. So the point I am looking for is this point right here where they intersect. That's always the point. So if you can't see an intersection point, you need to change your windows to make sure you can see it. So once you can see the intersection point, we just go this way. Second trace to get to the calc menu. And then, shockingly, we'll choose number five, the intersect method. Now, first curve, you'll notice y1 equals 3x minus 5 is the first curve. Hit enter. Once you hit enter, it asks for the second curve, but it automatically switches you to y2, which is good because you want to find the intersection of these two lines. Hit enter again. We hit enter through guess. And so the solution is 0.7, negative 2.9. So what you would do is you would take your calculator, and I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here. And I'm just going to do some screen capturing. Pay attention to that. So there, and my solution I would just type out as... 0 0.7, or write out as 0 0.7 and negative 2.9. Now, you need to also make sure that you have uh, shown your windows. So my windows are x, uh, negative 10, 10, 1. y is negative 10. 10, stop hitting 9, one. So though that's the work you need to show. Ignore these blue rectangles. They were for an algebraic problem. But that's it right there. That's how you do it. So that's solving graphically when it's linear systems. When it's quadratic systems, so we'll look at the next one. This is a systems of equations to a context. So Blythe Hartley, um, this lesson was done when she had just won an Olympic medal. Uh, Edmonton, Alberta is one of Canada's best springboard divers. That's not true anymore. Uh, she was. She's doing training dives with three meter springboard. Her coach uses video analysis to plot her height above the water. So when we're doing this, there's some information here. The information that's important is her height above the water. So when I'm looking at these graphs here, I have system A, system B, system C, system D. So which system could be used to represent the scenario? So uh, explain your choice and why the other graphs do not model the situation. So I don't know if you guys know how uh, diving works, but I'm pretty confident everyone here has seen a dive. When you're on the diving board, you start here, and then you jump and you go into the water. So you make a parabola in this case. So when we're talking about this, we're going to go this way. We're going to say, oh, well, system A, well, there is a parabola, so it could be. But system B can't be. You don't drive, dive straight into the water. 
So it can't be system B. It can't be system B. All right, so it can't be system B, and it can't be system B because one equation is not quadratic. So that's obvious, right? Whenever you jump, you're going to travel in the path of a parabola, especially as time moves forward. You go up, you come down. You go up, you come down. You go up, you come down. So it can't be B. Now, it also can't be A. Now, why can't it be A? Because this second line, this linear function, that shows the height of the water, and the height of the water is not changing. So it can't be A. So I can cancel A out. Uh, and then, uh, now we have a choice between C and D. And the question you have to ask yourself for C and D is why is it one and not the other? Well, part of that is she dives from a three-meter springboard, which means she starts three meters above the ground. Meaning, if you look at these graphs, this graph begins right at the water level. This graph starts above the water level, so it can't be... Oh, uh, ignore that. It can't be... Nope, that's not the right way to go. I'll fix it. And we're back, so it... Why is this there? That's got to go. It shouldn't have been that even though that was there. So it's not B, not A, and it's not D, because she jumps off a three... off a three-meter springboard, not from the water level. So the answer is... then C. And in this case, we have one point of intersection. So the answer for this one would be... All right, not working. That's great. Technology fun. The point of intersection would be the time at which she hits the water. which is, we can't read what it is, but we can sure take an estimation, an estimate for it. It would be right there. That's the time where she hits the water, right there. So that's the idea of solving graphically. Now, when we solve this system graphically, this is the only other example there is, so we have 4x minus y plus 3, 2x squared plus 8x minus y plus 3 is 0. Both of them equal 0. We can't have them equal 0 because they won't go into my calculator at 0. So I need to go this way, clear these out. I need to rearrange both of these so we end up with the correct uh, form of this. We need to get y by itself in both of them. Pretty easy to rearrange for y in both of these. Just add y to both these equations. You end up with these two equations. It doesn't matter which order they go in because now I have y equals uh, 4x plus 3 and y equals 2 x squared 8x plus 3. Now this is uh, a linear quadratic system and it can have either one, two, or none solutions, no solutions. Hit trace. And we get lucky, we can see both of those points right there. We can see both these points. And so when I'm graphing, when I answer my question, I take I'm going to take a screenshot. You'll obviously have to sketch yours. So we sketched it. And put your your windows. Oh, they have a sketch already, which I knew that. We'll just delete that. So we sketch it, and then we find the intersection points. So we go this way. Uh, Second, trace, five. First curve, y1. Second curve, y2. Guess. First point is here at zero, three. So, when you look at this one, you can see this point here is zero, three. You should mark that in there. Make sure you show your windows. Notice how they have their windows here marked. And then they just sketch the graph. Now, to find that second intersection point, it's down here. So we go back and we go second trace 5. Now if we hit enter again, it's not going to go there. It'll find the intersection point that's closest to the cursor. So if I go here, that's pretty close to the intersection point. First curve, second curve, guess. There's your second point. Negative 2, negative 5, which is right there.
All right, so that's the whole lesson. That's solving by graphing. Make sure you know to rearrange the equations to the y equals form and find the intersection points. So these uh, questions here, do eight last? Eight's a good challenge if you're done. Uh, but 10, 1, 3 AC, 5, 4 BD, 5 DE, 10. Do your best and have a great day. Bye.